people what is happening i'm back here in the garage with my Jixxer 750 i've had some questions that was presented to me by a subscriber my man max decibel now max asked me about the channel 2 settings on the ecu here for this quick shifter he asked me particularly if adjusting the settings on channel 2 would give the bike a more pronounced interruption. So you guys know that um, when you're shifting gears um, with the quick shifter, you hear sort of like a, you know, a burp. You know, the bike kind of kind of burps. You hear that burp, you know, um, <laughs> or you know a fart burp an utterance if you will so he asked me again if uh if we could if we tweak this what effect it would have on the uh you know uh, the, the the noise that comes from the bike the exhaust note you know whatever you would whatever you would want to call it so Told Max that I would go out and uh, and I would tweak these settings <clears throat> and see what uh, what result I got. Now, as you can see, the shift force uh, interrupt channel one and channel two is exactly how it has been um, since I got the settings from the uh, TransLogic uh, technician that I spoke with. <clears throat> now, I believe this channel two is set halfway yeah it's it's halfway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to turn it so that instead of it being at uh, one o'clock it's <clears throat> it's basically I'm, I'm gonna turn it so that it is uh, more of a a three o'clock attitude well I say one o'clock but um straight up and down it's actually 12 o'clock or 12 30. so i'm going to tweak it so that it's more of so that we come around here to the to the uh the, the three o'clock so y'all y'all know what i'm saying sometimes i i think about what i'm thinking about and uh, you know i can have a little paralysis by analysis Let's run with these words. So as you can see, I'm in the little slot. I'm going to turn it to that three o'clock position. All right. Y'all can see that. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm going to go ahead and slap that bad boy back in there. I'm going to take it around the block. I'm not going out any place far because it is absolutely cooking outside. That's my little boot. I'm going to put my boot over here. And when I get back, I'll put the boot back on. I'm just going to put the seat on. I'm not going to bolt the seat back in. I can do all that when I get back. Like I said, I'm just going to go around the block. And when I pull off, if that setting makes the bike act a bit wonky, then I'm just going to um, I'm gonna tweak the settings. I'm going to take it back to the left a little bit. And, uh, you know, we'll see what it does. I'm going to throw on my helmet. I am going to throw the, Gro the GoPro on so we can walk through this together. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, folks, now we are back. We're getting ready to go ahead and pull this bike on out here. And we're going to take it around the block. See what's up. Ouch. I got a pretty tight configuration going on up in here. Listen, people, don't, don't beat me up for squid I got my helmet on and I'm not leaving not leaving the neighborhood it's 
so. Y'all be easy on me. Boy, that thing just starts purring. Oh, quick, boy. Joker sounds beautiful, man. You know, he's not... He's not loud and, and rambunctious like Caesar. But the joke sounds good, man. It's just got a nice little, little baritone rumble to him. You know? When we out there riding, when I get down on that throttle, man, you know, I haven't had the, the, the privilege to, to hear the fella zoom by. But my people tell me, man, the joke sounds good, man. When we out there on the road. But anyway. That's a whole different. Kettle of fish. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. Now normally, and I'm going at this speed, and I go from first to second, it can be a little clunky, but um, it was nice, man. Well, there you go, but it doesn't... Uh, really sound any different now, I gotta be careful in there it's rocks oh now I can definitely tell a difference that that pause is a little longer but it doesn't really make for much more of a um much more of a note really as far as you know the the stutter the you know the brr being much longer I mean I can I can tell it's longer but it just it doesn't sound like like a rip you know if you're ripping a pair of jeans or something doesn't sound much different you can hear that. Man. Maybe if I ease back off of it, maybe... I don't know man, it, it sounds good and it feels good. I like it. Now my man Max man, he might not like that because he's he's looking for more of a um a pronounced you know that that rip. And you know he's Guess he was hoping that you would get more of that pronounced rip when you um, when you adjust channel two, you know, to a certain extent. But um, that's just just not the case. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it back in the opposite direction. Boy, this heat, man, killing my double-sided tape. 
I'm going to have to tape this thing up again. But you can see I put the adjuster almost... It's past the 3 o'clock position. It's almost all the way. How much further it can go. And that's all the way. I'm not even going to do it. So We were here. So I'm going to back it off. Let me put it halfway. See what that does. Cool. Talk to me quick. Talk to me, fella. That's different. It's so subtle. But I liked it better at that higher setting than, than at this lower setting. Just for confirmation's sake, I am going to set set it back to that higher setting. And see how we do. Man, look at that man. Gosh. The heat. I might go in there and put some more tape on it. So that's where I had it last time. Right there. Mm-hmm.
Oh man. That, woo, I like it. I like that a lot. It's almost seamless. So, I think the verdict is in. Adjusting channel two does not give you a longer, or at least audibly, doesn't give you a longer interruption Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that back. It gives you a longer interruption. But audibly, it is not that perceptible. And in addition to that, it makes shifting, it, it makes the shift absolutely smoother. So there you have it. But this video has been long enough. Let me get back and mix this up, drop it. Um, particularly my man uh, Max. I hope this was helpful. I know you in the market for a quick shifter, and um, wish you the best, man, in those endeavors. This your boy, and I'm out.